Chapter 14 talks about two important kinds of chemicals, acids and bases. The definition we're going to use in this class is called the Bronsted-Lowry definition. And what that says is an acid is a proton donor. And a proton is a hydrogen atom that's lost its one electron. So a proton is going to be written as just an H+. Plus. And the Bronsted-Lowry definition of a base is a proton acceptor. So whenever you have an acid and a base reacting, for example, hydrochloric acid reacts with water, the best way to figure out these products are use the definition of acids and bases, and we're going to draw a little arrow, always starting from the acid, pointing towards the base, and the arrow represents the transfer of the H+. So if I know I have hydrochloric acid, then I know it's going to donate a proton. When an extra H+, gets added to water, I'm going to have H3O, have one extra hydrogen. The water started off as a charge of neutral, and it's accepting a positive one charge. So H3O has a positive one charge. This is called the hydronium ion. And the other product is what's left behind from the hydrochloric acid. After we rip off an H+, all we're left with is one Cl. It must have a charge of negative 1 because originally it was neutral, it lost the positive 1, and now it has a net negative 1 charge. The total charge must be conserved in order to have a balanced reaction. For example, in this case, we have a neutral hydrochloric acid reacting with neutral water, so the whole reactant side has a net charge of zero. On the product side, the net charge must also be zero. We have a positive one for the hydronium, negative one for the chloride. That makes the total charge conserved. Hydrochloric acid is an example of a strong acid. Acids are classified as either strong or weak, and strong acids react completely. So they react 100%. In this reaction, hydrochloric acid plus water, we'd be left with no hydrochloric acid at the end because this reaction is 100%. If an acid is not strong, then it must be weak. So for example, acetic acid. That's the acid found in vinegar. And acetic acid, if I write out the Lewis picture, it has this structure. And notice that acetic acid has many hydrogens. It has four hydrogens on there. It turns out it's only the one connected to this oxygen that is acidic. So if I put acetic acid into water, we'd figure out the products exactly the same way we did for hydrochloric. We're still going to donate a proton from the acid. The arrow points towards the base. One difference this time is Acetic acid is a weak acid, so this reacts less than 100%. Or the other way to think about it is we have both the forward and reverse reactions taking place. So when the acid donates a proton, H2O accepts a proton and you form H3O+, plus, and then the rest of the chemical after it lost the proton, you'd be left with the acetate anion. Total charge is still conserved. Reactant side has a net charge of zero. Product side has a net charge, positive one, negative one, adds up to zero.